From Washington, this is VOA News. Crimean Parliament votes to join Russia. Karzai brother drops out of the Afghan presidential race. I'm Ray Kugel reporting from Washington. Crimean lawmakers have voted in favor of the Ukrainian region becoming part of Russia. The vote Thursday by the Moscow-backed Crimean Parliament came as European Union leaders were gathered for an emergency summit in Brussels to look at ways of pressuring Russia to back down from its military incursion into Crimea. The Crimean government, with a majority Russian population, scheduled a referendum for March 16th on whether to join Russia. Interim Ukrainian President Alexander Turchinov suspended the powers of the Crimean parliament, calling its decision a farce and accusing the Russian military of organizing the vote. President Obama says the United States considers the upcoming referendum illegal and is ordering restrictions on U.S. visas and financial sanctions as well. White House correspondent Luis Ramirez reports. The new set of visa restrictions and financial sanctions are part of what President Obama says is the cost that Russia will have to pay for interfering in Ukraine. At a previously unannounced White House briefing, the president condemned a referendum that has now been set for March 16th on whether Ukraine's Crimea region should become a part of Russia. The proposed referendum on the future of Crimea would violate the Ukrainian constitution and violate international law. Any discussion about the future of Ukraine must include the legitimate government of Ukraine. President Obama signed an executive order that authorizes sanctions on those responsible for violating what the president says are the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine. Luis Ramirez, VOA News at the White House. Direct efforts to end the crisis continued Thursday when U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry met again with Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Rome. Nothing was solved. The top U.N. human rights official Navi Pile is calling for independent international investigations into human rights violations that have taken place in Ukraine in recent months. These include killings, disappearances, arbitrary detentions, torture, and ill treatment. I strongly believe that respect for human rights norms and standards, building a society that is inclusive of the rights of all, is key to finding a peaceful, and durable solution to the current crisis. Navi Pile says a senior human rights officer was sent to Ukraine and other staff members will follow. A NATO airstrike killed five Afghan soldiers and left at least 17 wounded Thursday in the eastern province of Logar. A spokeswoman for the U.S.-led international forces in Afghanistan says the troops were accidentally killed during a military operation and that an investigation is underway. A spokesman for Afghan President Hamid Karzai condemned the attack. President Karzai's brother dropped out of next month's presidential race. Ayaz Gul has details from Islamabad. Kayum Karzai, the elder brother of the incumbent president, told reporters in Kabul that after consulting elders in 28 of the 34 Afghan provinces, he has decided to quit the presidential race in favor of the former foreign minister. He described his team as an essential part of the new alliance. He said he requests all respected religious scholars, tribal elders and Afghan youth to fully back Zalmi Rasul to ensure that Afghanistan is able to sustain gains it has made over the past 12 years and the country can be guided towards achieving lasting peace. Kayum Karzai's exit leaves 10 candidates in the race. Ayaz Gul for VOA News, Islamabad. The Afghan constitution bars President Hamid Karzai from running for a third consecutive term. Pakistan's Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif met Thursday with Taliban representatives in an attempt to energize faltering talks aimed at ending the country's insurgency. 
Prime Minister Sharif stressed it is his religious, national, moral, and constitutional duty to rid the country of terrorism and bring peace to the nation. Indian police say dozens of Kashmiri students were expelled from their university and threatened with sedition charges because they were cheering for the Pakistani cricket team during a televised match against India. Authorities are trying to track down 66 students in the northern city of Meerut for questioning to determine whether the charges are appropriate. And Cuba has accepted a European Union invite to begin talks on improving ties. Foreign Minister Bruno Rodriguez says Cuba is willing to discuss human rights as part of discussions that would end what it considers a one-sided relationship with Europe. I'm Ray Kugel, VOA News. More at voanews.com.